What's up everybody, Cityscaper here, and I'm gonna do a real quick tour of my studio. So hang tight, here we go. All right, here we are. I apologize for the lighting, it's probably really bad, but there's the studio. I'll go ahead and do a little walk around tour real quick, starting from one side. So right over here, we got my desk. It's my little um, home studio setup. Um, right now I'm running Ableton Live, uh, and just building backing tracks, but um, it's a little bit of a mess, so I apologize for that. But over here, we got a little PA. That's where those speakers are hooked up. And then a little mini BC Rich practice amp. This thing is golden. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing is very golden. It sounds like crap, though. I got my mic here. I use it for live practice and for studio recording, it's a little Audio-Technica AT2020, um, large diaphragm condenser. I only picked it up for 80 bucks at Guitar Center. I'd recommend it because it sounds pretty good. If you guys go check out my demo, you'll see it sounds pretty dang good. <laughs> um, uh, I got this thing for live stuff, like part of my live setup. Um, little pick holder, a little wonky though. Over here, it's a rack case, so if you look down inside here, it might be a little hard to see because the lighting's terrible, and again, I apologize, but it's my my ongoing restoration project at the moment. Um, as you can possibly see, um, it's got metal bumpers, but they're all rusted and dirty, and the thing's like 20 years old, but I picked up for really cheap. It's a big, big case. It's even got a mixer slot on top, uh, which is pretty cool. And I'm gonna do something with that pretty soon. And I'll update you guys on this thing when I am done refurbishing it. And some guitars and a bass, a couple guitar, two, my two acoustics, my practice acoustic, my uh, live acoustic, my bass that I just play around with. I have my guitar over here, it's packed away. I'm just about to pack away the pedal board to, to go to a jam session. Um, but I have this out right now. I have this out right now. Um, that's the updated pedal board. So you guys remember from my pedal board video, my rig rundown. Um, basically what I did is I took out the, um, the Line 6 MM4. I sold that. Uh, a couple of the other miscellaneous pedals like the uh, looper pedal and the battery charger. And I put in this Line 6 M5. That thing's pretty cool. Um, I'd recommend you guys go buy that. It only cost me a hundred bucks. Um, but it's still kind of the same setup. Uh, and I also put a little light on here for practice. And when I start using that on stage more often, um, uh, it'll help out because stages can get a little dark. I have a little keyboard over here. Um, a little Yamaha practice keyboard. It's pretty cool though. I have some storage stuff and cases over here and an old poster over there. Um, but over here is the drum kit. Uh, you see, I duct taped it RCM because of my initials. Uh, that was from my early high school because I used to play, I used to play um, my music with an acoustic guitar and a kick drum, kind of like Mumford and Sons, because I didn't like playing in bands. <laughs> um, so that's what I did on stage, and it was fun, but uh, never, never took the duct tape off. But I, I only use it to practice. On it. I don't record on it. Uh, as you can see over here, the symbols a little little whacked out. Um, <laughs> one of my old drummers um, completely trashed it on in a gig and it's funny but um, it sounds it sounds different. Um, yeah here's another look from the drum kit at the studio. So I got that nice setup. It's easy to bring things and just practice things over here. One more good look at the studio. Again, I apologize for the mess. Um, just been playing around in here, rearranging things the past couple days. Anyway, thanks for watching this quick little video. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, uh, comment your thoughts and any questions you have. Uh, I got some shows coming up and I hope to see some of you guys there. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.